Hello, and welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. And I'm, I'm still Sharon. <laughs> She's still Sharon, y'all. Okay. <laughs> um, we thank each and every one of you all for tuning in for another great episode of Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. Or as we say, with me and you. With me and you, you and I, and we and you. No, okay. um, don't get me started. Anyway. I, truly, it's been a week, so calm down. Yes, 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 yes. So um, before we get into today's uh, shout out, I just want to make a quick announcement. So this is our last week of the year of 2022. Whoa. Yeah, so please bear with us as we take a small hiatus, but we will be back. Um, for Very sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll be back for sure. We're just trying to, um, you know, kind of just regroup yeah. and get ourselves together for 2023. Yeah. So and, I'm excited about that. just take a that. moment to rest, you yeah. know, because I just feel like yeah, everyone, that's part of regrouping, everyone's though. been going like, you know, triple. T- 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 and I feel like I have. Just last week I was in New York. So I flew out Wednesday and uh, we're back, back Saturday, so. And three hours later, you were. Uh, yeah, at a, at a party, party at an so, hour and a half away. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, so it really has been a long week already, but it mm-hmm. was uh, well worth it, my trip. So yeah. happy about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's it. You have any other Oh, I just wanted to make it even bigger. Uh, the thing about we're taking the whole month off, it's just, it's needed. We, mm-hmm. You know, we're blessed that we can do it. Yeah, you know, true. and you know, you know, we hopefully we can get a little vacation, a real vacation in there. But if we don't, it's okay. Just, yeah. just take a minute to back up and just exhale. Yeah, you you're know, right. because the last year, the last two years, the last two and a half years have been something we've never experienced before. Yeah, this has true. been, it, it, you know, the world changed. Yeah, and then it changed again. Absolutely, right. Absolutely. So, so I'm not going to minimize. All of what, not that you are, but you not to minimize, this has been a challenge, a great challenge for, if you've been on planet Earth, not Earth 2, the one that looks like planet Earth, but no, if you've been on planet Earth and awake and plugged in and you're a human being, something has affected you. Absolutely. Something. So uh, with that, like I said, we're taking the whole month of December. The whole month. I mean, <laughs> She's so December. excited about it. But we are trying to go to Hawaii. So yeah. if you have anybody in Hawaii, let's Stop say hello. Stop by and yes. Aloha. Um, hit us up. Hit us up. Um, yeah. So anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the big announcement. But yeah, so we, we're going to see them on uh, January the 4th for 2023. Yeah, is that the first weekend? Yeah, that, that's the first Wednesday. Yeah, mm-hmm. so we will be back on January 4th. Don't forget about us. If you haven't watched all of our videos, it's a great time to do that. Yes, um, binge and watch. if you're new to <laughs> Conversations with Sharon and Rosa, just kind of start from the beginning. Although Sharon hates looking at those beginning ones. Well, just the first um, video, I just think, oh. <laughs> um, Just start from the beginning and then just, um, you know, kind of go from but there. Patient, by the time you pace catch yourself. up. <laughs> yeah, by the time you catch up, we'll be back. So that's how quick we're going to be gone. Just yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so uh, let's get into today's shout outs. Yeah. Um, so first shout out goes to Chantel J., Thank you for being a subscriber to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. Next, we have Cole World, C O L E World. I mm-hmm. like that, Cole World. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, subscribing to our channel. We so appreciate you. And last but not least is Jessica C. You are a recent mm-hmm. subscriber, mm-hmm. and we appreciate you, and we hope that you are enjoying what you see and what you hear so yeah yes. yeah um, and if we do come across a topic that really uh that, um, that you come across a, the topic i should say and we haven't um had a conversation about it um you know reach out to us and just say hey would you consider doing a mm-hmm. you know speaking to this subject and if we uh if we have uh, personally experienced it or been close by it or whatever we'll definitely speak to it or invite someone who truly does speak you know has lived it know that yeah and, yeah. and we'll just do a you, you know we'll have a guest and speak to your topic so hopefully but. we'll have more guests on the show uh, mm-hmm. for 2023 mm-hmm. um, and you guys can 
uh, let us know if that's something you all want, and you know. Because well, evidently we you do few. want it because several people have a, you know, have an offer a certain yeah, topic. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. You speak so. on something that's going on in their life. But in any event, back to okay, you. Okay, so today's topic is forgiveness. Wow. When friendship fails you. Mm-hmm. So what does that look like for Sharon and I? And we'll both definitely get in our stories. I'm sure Sharon got some friends Story. that has uh, <laughs> jacked up yeah. in the past. And what Your does that favorite look like word, then? not mine. <laughs> yes, I've been jacked up. Hey, I've friend. heard like first lady say it, not the first lady, say, the uh, vice Ooh, president silly. lady say uh, it. Yeah, I'm, Harris, Miss Harris said what? She said jacked up one time. Oh, it's a good word. Yeah. So. Oh, but you know, you never have to say, oh, what I'm does that saying. mean? I'm, I'm just saying, but when you say jacked up. <laughs> uh, you said bro the other day. Did I? Yeah. Yes, I did say bro. I used to say it all the time. Was that too I was old like, for No, I just Sorry, didn't know who I married. That's all. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, <laughs> no. As I, I just thought but, I would marry somebody who didn't say bro. Bro wasn't in their vocabulary. But you know. Wait I, a minute. Okay. We're learning each other every as day. I, as I say, like, like. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who said bro? Up when I talk to the man, I said, what's up, bro, or something like that? No, was it? you was like, you're making me work too hard for this, bro. We were at the casino. We oh, oh, to the oh, oh, oh. So, yeah, I did say that. Anyway. Okay, please. Doesn't need to hear nor there. Yeah. But we're going to be talking about friendships and, you know, what happens to friendships when um, you, you're you close to somebody and then something happens and, you know, is it still the same type of friendship? Oh, you so. are really making that light. No, I'm just putting out there what we can ready to talk about. But yeah. we're getting ready to yeah. dice it up and yeah. let you all know no. what we're talking you know. about. And what happens if you're close to someone and they hurt you? And then how does that make you feel? Well, I'm going to tell you, we wish it could be that simple and we could, yeah. you know, ha-ha about it. But uh, it's quite devastating. Yeah. Uh, you consider some of the closest relationships you have in your life. Let's say, n- not just your, your loved one, not just your mate. You know, I'm just, okay, other than that relationship, but you had a mother. Uh, you Maybe you were very close to your siblings. Maybe you're very close to your two friends that you went to school with, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying you've had close relationships with people. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, like, with friends, friends are something that you chose to come. You know, you didn't bump into them. You know, right. you wasn't born with them. And it's a, it's two, a way, it's, two way street. You oh, know? oh, yeah. You know, friendship yeah. is who you connect with and they connect the, the, with, with you. you. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's good. It, it's good. And right. so your, your friends, um, other than the, well, I'll just put it this way your, your friends are your friends and you get to choose them. Mm-hmm. You have them in your life for a reason. And when we say friends, to me, it's not a light word. I don't mean one of your buddies that you see when the parties, when you go to the party, they see you, hey, hey, hey. No, I'm talking about this person or two persons or three, you know, that you mm-hmm. have in your life who know you, love you, know you sto- your story, you know theirs, you go back to Afro Puffs together. <laughs> <laughs> For us older people, right. Afro Puffs in the 70s, you know, so they know you. Yeah. They know you. And what happens as we go on this journey called life, You, um, your friends are always there. You know, they were there when you, you know, uh, when you graduated perhaps from school or college. They were there when you had your first baby. They were there when, you know, you got married. All the personal deep stuff, and they know who broke your heart. Right. Right, and you know who broke theirs. <laughs> that kind of stuff. So um, you can't buy a friend. You can't rent a friend. You can't borrow from, I mean, these are people that you've attached yourself to and they have attached you emotionally. Um, Just, it's like, you know how you got two people in in the world that you can ask for something or talk to about? It's only two. You know thousands, hundreds, or whatever. You got 18 buddies, but there's only one or two people that you was like, girl, this is what really happened. Right. (laughs) Okay, so, as I set that stage for us to even start thinking about it, because I know who Rose's good friends are, mm-hmm. and she, I know the people who she, who's in her life, around her life, but I know the ones who she consider her friends, and it's on one hand. So, you know, with Rose and I, and we surely have had a conversation or two about this, uh, um, I know who her good friends are. You know, and she knows who mine are. She knows a lot of people, and she got a lot of cousins, and she got people in her life, and people she went to school. But I know when you rinse all that down, 
you know, there's a couple of people who, oh, this is Rosa's friend, mm -hmm. okay? And conversely, you know, with me, it's like, if she, she said, you know everybody, <laughs> you know, or oh, I got a story about me and a lot of people. Mm -hmm. didn't, the good, the bad, the funny, the no, you didn't, girl, kind of things, but who's my friend? Yeah, who, I know who you would tell what, your, it, your uh, intimate stuff to, you know yeah. what I'm saying, your personal Show enough, show enough. Deep down issues. Mm, right. But you can't tell it to everybody. No, no. So, everybody don't need to hear it. Everybody right. don't know it. Don't need to, you know, all And all I know who you, who you would yeah. confide in. So those are the people who we're talking about. Yes. You, 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 everyone seemingly, so, for the most part, have one of those in their life. Mm -hmm. So today we're talking about, with that friendship, what happens when your friends fail you? Not just disappoint you. They, yeah, we used to say shit to bed. They truly messed up. When when friends fail you, I mean that that's that's it, it's devastating. You know, like who who else knows you like they know you? Who else have been through the experiences and the you know the moments in life you know with you around you got your back? You know, uh, like I say, you can't buy one. You can't rent one. You know, it so, ain't hard to come by because oh, it takes a while to build up friendships. I mean, I, unless you're all that type of people to just anybody you meet, you give them all your business in 2.2 seconds. I'm not. In order mm -hmm. for you to know who I really am, you have known me for more than 10 years. I can tell you right now. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You have known me for more for, than for 10 while. years. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, all my you know good that. friends know right. me. Right. Yeah. So you ain't got the fresh ones, OG. It's been 18 months. <laughs> I got some, People, some new me. You got some new recruits? <laughs> new recruits, but they don't know all the inside. No, no. I, yeah. I, I hear you. I, I hear you. You know, so, uh, so, so. You know, when we go there with that person, I mean, they just, they're in your heart. They're, you know, they, they you. That's your bud. You look in your pocket, there they go, right? <laughs> so these are the people we're talking about. What do you do when someone in your, your serious circle, as I call you know, you know, your serious one, two, three, just the three of us thing, when they disappoint you, hurt yeah. you, betray you, lie to you, miscommunicate something very, very important. Um, ouch. Right. That's an onion, I used to call it. That's an onion in life. So, so do you forgive them, though? You know? Because when a person, hmm. when a person you are so connected to that you all know each other's in and outs mm -hmm. and ups and downs and in-betweens, like you really know that person, and when they do something to you that you know was done intentionally. Because mm -hmm. when you know somebody, you know if it was right, just like, right, right. like, you know, they were just having a conversation and it may have slipped mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. I get that. But when you know they have done something just because they could. They could. Wow. Wow. That's intentional. Do you forgive mm -hmm. them for that? Do mm -hmm. you forgive them? So that is exactly what we're talking about today. Well, and 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 not only are we talking about a date, and like it was something kind of circling around my mind uh, many months ago, but we're all women. I'm talking to lesbian land. You know, your your partner is a woman. Your chances are your best friend is a woman too. Not all the time, because sometimes we have some really great special relationships with, with, friends, with, with, yeah. with, with male friends. You know, so so this is usually woman time. Right. You know, and women. You, we 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 love deeply and different and different yeah, so and yeah <laughs> it it gets deep y'all know what I'm talking it gets deep right you know other than your mother your wife your sister and your partner this person is the closest person to you yeah. probably yeah you know what I mean that you chose to have in your life we're talking about those scenarios right you know what I mean so how and can you and should you Forgive them. Yeah. You know? And once you forgive them, is the relationship the same? Oh, you know I, can, I can so, answer for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a no for I me. I have several <laughs> examples <laughs> <laughs> where, <laughs> that many you know, yeah, like a <laughs> close friend of mine um, did something crazy and the relationship just wasn't the same. 
It just wasn't the same. Oh, you got to give me more and than can you put, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. And can you, you work to get it back to where it is? Because I, I think to that once was. that trust... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah. Once that trust is broken, once that trust sneaks in and breaks, it is like, can you trust them again? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. to me, I don't think it's going to work. And it's hard for me, mm-hmm. and I can forgive a person, it, mm-hmm. but it's hard for me to go back and be your friend at that point. Now, we can see each hey, other on hey, the street and right. say what's up, but mm-hmm. to really be on the phone, you know, three hours, because I got to listen to you crying about your boo, or you, or I'm crying about mine, or mm-hmm. whatever, that is probably not going to happen anymore. You know, it's going to be that sort of known but unknown Type mm-hmm. of feel, mm-hmm. like, dang, is she still mad about this? Eh, she not mm-hmm. mad, but because if I was mad, it just wouldn't be any connection or any communication. Right, or right, anything. right. Like you um, are exed out. It's like because I know you and I know you're a good person, but now it's like some things I can't trust you with now. So some things. Huh. No, I mean it kind of yeah. depends on what the it was that the person yeah did. Well, so, I'm sorry, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, so it kind of just depends on what, what that person did to you that, you know, maybe you can just forgive them. You know, I mean, if they slap your child because they mouth off at them, but you mad, but you understand. You but understand? you also you're an tell, adult. Right, right, right. So you tell them not to do it again. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to have our disagreement, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? They need to be put in their place. You could have just told me, but I get it. Hmm. But when a friend does something so just deep down and hurtful it's like it, it's just no coming back from no that. no yeah no you're right you, you're right right you can't be so it, it, it's we were it's ripped you, you want to tell your no, example no of oh no what no i may not even tell it oh, okay. i mean but there's so many i mean and i'm <laughs> really true. listening to you today yeah um like that's unusual i listen to you she don't listen days. to me at all <laughs> most days but you know there's a saying um when you when someone has truly loved you and things go awry, they'll do anything for you but love you again. Mm -hmm. And I feel the same applies to that special friendship. And you can try if you want to, Humpty Dumpty, no, never was the same. You know, he was cracked up. You know, they try to make him look like like he's feeling okay. You're not okay. Mm -hmm. How do I trust you with any and all again? You know, and it's that's a horrible way. It, yeah. It's not a healthy way to have a relationship. We know that. Yeah. And and it doesn't you know like whatever the wrong was. And so my question, you know, whether it was you or someone else, I would just say, okay, the wrong has been acknowledged. It's known. It's shared. What do you want from that person? What do you mean? What do you want from? I mean, you know, when a person has, okay, yeah, I really messed up. I oh. really put a wrinkle in our relation in our friendship. I know this is going to cost us. Now, if they us, come to you with like that, that's a whole nother different, you know, type thing. I can forgive them. If they come to me like, girl, for you say something, <laughs> I already know. You know what I'm saying? I like, know I messed come up. Come to me as an adult, yeah. but don't do something crazy. I find out, and now you're trying to turn it on me like it's my fault. Okay, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not talking that, about the instant. I'm, I'm no, I'm talking about a boo boo that is that big. It doesn't matter what the it is. The boo boo could be big, could be small. But mm-hmm. if you if you can't come to somebody as an adult and talk to them, or you can't just you know we can't talk and without somebody getting offensive, or you trying to turn it on that person, like mm-hmm. well if you hadn't you know if you just would have talked to me Mm-mm. before I said something to her, it wouldn't have been like it doesn't matter. You know who you are, and I remember. Um, a good friend of mine when, um, and I probably may have shared this before, I don't know, Mm. but uh, a good friend of mine um, when Sharon and I was getting married like, our relationship really started taking, like you know how like you tell people your stuff and they know your stuff, I know her, you know their stuff Mm -hmm. and very instrumental and helping me get past a lot of hurdles and stuff like that. And so it was difficult when, you know, I had to break up the friendship pretty much because... But I don't think it was you breaking it up. I felt it was her 
the pushback. Do you, no, you know it wasn't that? even I think that. She okay, you so in this position. is what happened with, with that situation. What had happened was. Right. <laughs> Craig and them. No, I'm just kidding. So. Um, we were getting married. Yeah, we but it was, it was a little before that. So okay. right before that, this friend of mine was uh, turning 60, I believe, and she was having her big, no, 50. No, it was 60. 60. 60 in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so she was having her big 60th birthday party. So I knew about that. Cool, whatever. Um, Sharon and I was getting married. So, so she had me on her calendar. I had her on my calendar because we sent out save the date, as people do, you know, wow, um, months before. Mm -hmm. So when Sharon and I had several things on our on on our calendar like within the three month span so we were like there's a lot of stuff going on we had different parties different um things we needed to attend stuff for ourselves just mm -hmm. a lot of stuff travel whatever and we got we had gotten another invite to somewhere and i said we can't go unless we take something off our plate now mind you before me taking off her 60th birthday party because i did say i did go back and and took the RSVP mm -hmm, back. Mm -hmm. um, she had already not attended Sharon and my um, reception based on hmm. her pretending like she couldn't find a babysitter for her granddaughter. And like I said, we had sent out Save the Dates way early, so she knew it was coming up. And her daughter at that time wanted to go somewhere. She was like, oh, I'll babysit. And then she was like, oh, well, that's the same day as, I guess you realized it was the same day as my reception. So we had already put out, no children come to the reception. She calls me up once, you know, to bring her grandchild. And I'm like, no, and, you know, it's not just about me. If it was about me, I probably could have bent the rules. But now I'm getting married. It's about us. And if we agreed on that, I'm not going to go back on what my wife said and, you know, say your child can come. Because if her child comes in, the next person who right. wanted to bring their child going to be mad about exactly. it. Exactly. You know, exactly. so for, mm -hmm. for her to be a close friend of mine and to put me even in that predicament and that's you know kind of like one of them things you know not to even ask your friend because you don't want to put them in that right that tight spot right. like i don't want mm -hmm. her to have to go in between her wife and me blah, blah 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 it was almost like she was trying to figure out who was more important you know is that the so, way you sensed it well looking back that, in hindsight yeah. i kind of do yeah i didn't sense it that way before but Perhaps. anywho mm -hmm. long story short she didn't come, and I knew she had a living babysitter at that time because her um, other granddaughter was visiting from out of town, and she was old enough to babysit her right, younger grandchild. Right, she she could have just if simply she made other to. arrangements. Exactly, but it just seemed like to me it came to a four. Uh, both of y'all wills were like, eh, like no, and, I don't and I'm say and, testing. and I'm just te and I'm just setting this up because it's, it wasn't tick for tack. I didn't say mm -hmm. I'm not going to her birthday party just because of my reception because mm -hmm. our reception was in october i mean august, august and her birthday was in november right so right right, right. that's like the time frame so i it definitely ha didn't have anything to do with that because i was still gonna go sharon and i were still gonna go to vegas and blah, 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 but we were getting so much other stuff on our plate that i you know in my mind said hmm my birthday was in april she hit me up on facebook to say happy birthday I mean, this is somebody who I talk to night and day. You got my phone number. Wait, wait, you could wait, call, wait. you could text. And it was a day late. <laughs> and it was a day late. So which means you forgot about my birthday. So when we were going down the mm. list, you know, it's almost like uh, how they're saying going, don't treat anybody, um, don't make anybody your priority when they're not making you theirs. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like that. So when I'm going down the list, I'm like, hmm, she can't even remember my birthday, but you want me to spend my money and my time mm -hmm. to come see your birthday in Vegas because it wasn't here. It's right. not like we were going up the street. We were paying money to stay in a hotel, buy you a gift, do all of this. And I'm like, and you can't even remember mine. And then I put on, you ain't even come to my reception for some bull crap. Mm -hmm. And I know it was bull crap because mm -hmm. like you, when you're close to somebody, you know, you know the family you dynamic. Know each other. Yeah, I yeah. know her family dynamic. So I knew it, it, something else could happen. So anyway, I said, look, we're just not going to go. So when I came off of her um, RSVP list, she called me like the next day. Oh, now you got my number. <laughs> so we kind of got into it from there. And I'm just like, I said, look, you know, apparently 
we have kind of we're growing outgrowing each other or doing whatever it was that you know and, and it was more so like it was becoming disrespectful for each of us like we weren't really respecting each other like I thought we used to mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. for me it was more so that but I couldn't even put the relationship back together if I wanted, wanted to. to okay because okay. it was so much said so much done and so much I know she didn't come to my reception just to make a point Mm -hmm. And to me, you just don't do that. Because I would have gone to her birthday party. If we've had a big argument, I would have still gone to her birthday party. Now, I might not have been, you know, my cool self on the floor dancing, and da -da, but I would have showed up yeah. because I knew it would have been important to her. And she knew that would have been important to me. So the fact that she was just like, no, I, I mean, I can't make you a priority if you're not making me a priority. Right, if you right. can't remember my stuff, my important stuff, and I wasn't even asking for a gift. Gee, just call. Of course, you know, you just call. Just, call yeah. me, say what's up, say happy birthday, something. So needless to say, we are not friends You're to done. this day. You're and done. that was, Sharon and I have been married for over six and a half years. So that was about five years ago because we had our reception a We're year done. after. Right, right. Um, we actually yeah. got married. But yeah, so, and I haven't talked to her. You know, I used to work with her. She uh, retired. But um, You're done. do I miss her? I really don't. And I think it's because I knew that she did that on purpose. And I'm like, if anybody can be like that, then I don't need them as a friend. I, I'm, if y'all know me, you know I don't beg for friendships. Because Rosa don't mind taking Rosa out. <laughs> I can go party by myself in a heartbeat. Oh, go my little indie. In okay, my independent little Aries. Go to a Aries restaurant in a heartbeat by, by myself. <laughs> without a, so it's not like I need people to hang with me. Right, you know, right. But, but just a, just at a the same category. time, Come you on. still want to have that bestie that you can go to and yeah. be able to just be like, girl, I'm going to need to put this on your shoulder just so they can carry your weight for a minute, yeah. let you digest, and then oh, you know, understand hand it what back you're going to through. you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and um, you know, so... Um, needless to say, I I really haven't had anybody that I could talk to. Like, I used to be able to talk to her, but it's okay. Because yeah. um, there are people there in my life that I can talk to. I just choose not to. Okay. So. Okay. Wow. I'm just saying. You the relationship enough. could not be repaired. No, could not. <laughs> Again. No, no, no. So. I know. Sometimes it happens that way. So, this started with my question of like, what do you want from them? What do you, if a friend has failed you, and surely in this case she really has, mm -hmm. um, you know, what do you want for them? You know, yeah. do you want just an um, explanation, uh, apology? Do or they acknowledgement are they, of it? Or not? That's for the, exactly. Just, you know, because sometimes people will, you know, crack your world and and act like you know, like well, what did I do? Oh, you know what you did, Scooby. Right. You know what you did, <laughs> and only you could hurt me that well because right. I'm not that invested emotionally with anyone else. Right. It, this is not a casual friendship. Right. This is a hey, you know, you know me, I know you, and you know what I mean. You tell a lie, and I'll swear to it. Right. You're my buddy. We 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 can almost share underwear. Right. Okay. Went too far. Okay, exactly. but 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 it's um it's a horrible place to be in when you're about to lose a friend when your friends really have like I say failed you. Mm -hmm. They know who you are. You know who they are. So ain't like this is a game and oh I didn't know um you know that was gonna hurt your feelings or destroy you you know right. you know my Achilles heel right you right. know so I have tried to love a person past it. I've tried to be the bigger person, uh, but I'm also, as I'm evolving, and it wasn't until well after my, well after my 40s that I really had to start pulling some things back in and just really look at what they, what it is, what it means to me, who are these people, mm -hmm. and this just got so small, and then when you look around, there's three people that I truly love, trust, Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Yeah, Keep but have, in my you, life. have you had any friends that... That failed me? Yeah, so... so that the you, reason why, you, you are repaired the relationship or you didn't? Um, the people that are in my life, I would say yes, repaired the relationship. Okay. Repaired the relationship, talked about it honestly, and I and maybe and would I put them in the category of failed me? Yeah, I would just say strong disappointment, if not failed. 
Right. Okay. <laughs> but I but they wanted they didn't want to lose me. I didn't want to lose them. And like we need to talk some things free, uh, through because right. I'm I'm looking at the rest of my life and I don't see you in it. Right. That's how I feel. But I think that's kind of when it comes down to it. It's like when that friend is okay or don't care that you're not in their lives anymore. So they go off the script and do whatever they got to do. Hmm. But when you hit them with that reality, where, okay, boo, I've been knowing you for blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And so don't act like I don't know you. But if we need to go forward without you being in my life, then we're just going to go forward yeah, without that. I can and so I will. So if, they, if they're okay with that, then they weren't your friend. Oh, I oh I disagree. I, I, I think sometimes people truly... I think people often they want some things that they personally can't give yeah. themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and and you know because we all you know oh I wish I had good friends like you. I wish somebody would do for me what they do for you. Well, sweetie, you can't be taking withdrawals out of an account that's empty. You got to do those emotional inputs and everything. Right. You know you just can't drive by and you know like hey I'm, I know I'm late for your birthday. See you later. And why are you always with Sheila? <laughs> because right. Sheila treats me very, you know, our friendship is recip reciprocal. Right. Uh, so, with the friendship thing, I do take it very, very seriously. You know, and some people, some the things that matter the most to you may not matter to them. But when you have that friend, it's given, it's received, it's understood. You guys been together forever. You know, that kind of thing. Yes. And if you were to walk out of her life, she would miss you, and the reverse is true, too. Yeah. Now, let's say your friend really did hurt you, like I said, crack, crack your foundation. Can you forgive them? Because remember, we don't want to lose this person. Most people don't. Well, now, I didn't want to lose my friend. I, know, I just no, no knew one does, it, right. No one gets, wakes up and says, I just knew the relationship I'm was done. coming to a place whereas neither one of us needed to be because if you don't respect me trust me or mm -hmm. you know uh, can't talk to me with what we used to talk to then it's probably nothing there anyway you know so you no, put them in, well, the, in the same category I would category. say there's no no new deposits because I, I do believe you know, you know like you can let somebody go and they'll wind up missing you just um, as much as you miss them or even more yeah because remember there's some people who just want the benefit of the friendship and they don't do the deposits you over here doing all the deposits mm -hmm. I'm not talking one those those upside down relationships I'm talking about she's willing to jump in the same fire that I would jump in for her right you know so when you got that and it's mutual when that is cracked you know what I mean? What happens? Do you do you want to have them back in your life if they told you the right story, or or you say, I got to forgive them, mm -hmm. because you know, just the word forgive just means to release yourself from the anger and resentment from someone you've dealt with who may be flawed, right? And we're all flawed people. So when my my big moment, like I said, I I didn't really get into this to the way I am today. Um, until in my late 40s because I was too busy uh, running around trying to uh, <laughs> do all the work in the friendship. You know, you can't bat the ball, run the bases, yeah. and catch it too. You know what I mean? So I'm calling you my friend, and I'm just a, I'm an okay buddy to you. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about them. Like I say, I'm talking about the real deal. Right. She loves you. You love her or him. You know, and this is your... Mm, when someone's looking for them, right. they come to you. Like, you seen him? You, you seen Sheila? And if Sheila? I know if she ain't there, you know where she is. Right, you know, right. You seen thing. Sheila? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Those friendships. And like I said, you know, you lose one of them, babe. You know, you, you, you're you both in a hurt locker. Yeah. You know, so, but I'm tying that to the point that even though we want it, it doesn't mean that everyone knows how to give you. Like, all they know, they want it too. Yeah. Like I say, I wish I had friends like you do. Well, you ain't putting the time in. Right. Did right, I do? Right. You know and what I, I mean? And when I gave my example, trust me, everybody was grown. This is not a high school, no, you yeah, know, yeah, type. Yeah. I'm it's talking like about life. Everybody grown. Right. We yeah. all. Because it's different, you know, we're talking to some of the younger people, too. I mean, you had a friendship from high school. People grow. You know, you're, you're not thinking the same uh, thoughts that you were no. thinking, mm -mm. you know, when you were in high school. Yeah. And you shouldn't be. But, you know, yeah. when you get to they an grow, adult, we babe, you can still have that same friendship. And maybe both you all are growing at the same time, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time... Uh, you know, when you are adults and everybody's good and grown and life has really been uh, in your life, 
for a minute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Life has been there. You know what you know. Yeah. Um, those are the friends that we're talking about. Yeah. You know? um, and when and if you say if for you to lose one of them, you say, well, ain't no big deal. Life goes on. I don't believe it's as deep. No, first of all, you, you're trying to shine it off. You know, because mm -hmm. they did hurt you, and it does hurt you, mm -hmm. and all of uh, all of that, right? right? You know yes. what I mean? I'm saying equally invested, mm -hmm. mutually invested in each other's happiness. You know what I mean? You, know, you she got her second degree. You're down there. You you you're the one flying the thing. You know right, what I mean? Like right. good girl, go girl, go go. You know, you're that friend, right? Not lover, not but your friend. I'm talking right. friendship. So. Like I say, when when a person um, truly truly does something that's just so, it's, it's irreversible and you and it takes your breath away, you're just like, oh my God, I, I, what do you want from that person? Can they just say I'm sorry and walk back in? Right. Can you do you like you said you want an explanation? What were no, you thinking? I or you know you, you I think it was the word uh, exp, um I just uh, want to acknowledge it. I'm sorry, acknowledgement. You yeah. want acknowledgement, like, right. okay, and if you get acknowledgement and you do get an explanation of whatever somebody needs, does that mean you can, they can turn around and just like things like, you know, we good, we good, right. we good. Right, right, right. I mean, and, and depending on, like I said, what happened, mm -hmm. how the acknowledgement is brought forth, then yes, I can just, we can move on. Because I don't hold grudges, number one. I really don't. Ooh. So if if I say it's no, good, right, I'm good. good. Okay. And I can get in an argument with you to, in the morning. We supposed to be partying later. We still partying. Well, Boo, I'm going to pick you up at, at 6. Be ready. As I've alluded to too many times, I'm the Gemini. <laughs> so this is how this goes down. One twin may forgive you. But the other one still wants to kick your ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the duality. One's trying to choke the child out of you because, um, and you're right, I do find you with a, a forgiving heart. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes, even with, with the, the forgiving heart, but you got that, you know, this thing, this brain is just like, let's not forget. Oh, you know? definitely. You it's, know, it's, it's that brain heart thing. Right. And... You know, when you say, let's not forget. Because it's hard to even forget whatever that it may be. Right. And trust me, whatever the situation, if it, let's say it was a money situation, I just know how I'm not going to approach you again with anything. You know what I'm saying? With In respect to that subject. So if it was a money thing, you borrowed some money from me. I ain't get loaning you none anymore. And you know what? We just not going to go there in that department. Like, we okay. can still chill. We can still, we be at the mall. You pick something. I'm just, I'm just not doing it. That's just not going to happen. But I'm not. As women, and I know this, we're, you know, we're talking to everyone out there, especially with our friends in lesbian land. It's, and it's interesting we give a, a example with money in it. With women, it's usually our feelings. It is some. It's matters of the heart. Yeah, at Newark. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's a good example. But I'm yeah. just saying, with women, we go. You, we go because someone truly. But even if that is the case, let me get you, it out. Okay, <laughs> no, go no, good. No, good. I'm just. I was giving the money for an example because I'm saying like you just don't go there with them. You don't give them that power the next time if it's a right, matter the of the time. heart thing. Yeah. So, well, but, but you can still be cool with them. And all. and as I, you know, we say offline, you know. No two people have the same attitudes about money. Right. Right. So you know that. You know, like somebody else would have shined it all, but somebody else would have cussed them out, but you still owe me fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> you, you know, what I mean? you know what I mean? By next and summer. And I want my money. And I want my money. Right. Right. And even if she pays it to you in fifty dollar increments. Right. How much I owe you now? You know. But but seriously, it um, it's I I I just think with women we we play from the heart. Yeah. And that's okay. But sometimes when you give your friend, your buddy, your mm, number one best friend, you know what 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 happens when they lie to you, deceived you, or uh, sleep with uh, your boo. person? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you know things like that. That's what yeah. that's what girlfriends break up about. You know. Yep. And and that's a hard thing to repair. Well, I, I don't even understand. Um, you you know, I just want to you know say. Let me understand, how were you thinking for you to not know this would have destroyed me? Right. 
Then that's just it. They know, and, they should know you enough to know it's going to destroy you. And I'm that aging lesbian. We've talked about many things over this year and last year. Mm -hmm. Excuse me if I interrupt you. No, you good. It was, uh, it, again, because we come from matters of the heart. With matters of the heart, we, um, again, we're women. <laughs> and, and 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 as we've shared so many stories with you throughout these hundred and some odd videos, uh, y'all know I was out there in the streets having fun for many years. Uh, I am the age of the so yeah, <laughs> yeah. maybe lose it again. No. So I'm oh, sorry. No, so um, of course I have had to separate from a person or two that I thought were my really good friends, and they were. But people do change, and people mm -hmm. do grow in different ways, and people do uh, reshuffle their priorities and their values and all of that. I'm saying two times in particular, I, not lost a friend, I decided to sever myself from her because we were two women looking at the same woman. Mm -hmm. And it's not just what went down, it's the way that went down. Mm -hmm. And as my friend, and it doesn't matter who saw her first and none of that crazy stuff. And I'm not going to go to Knuckle Town, uh, you know, which sometimes we do in lesbian land. But I'm saying it just, I wanted our, my friendship to be, to still be whole more than I wanted the woman. Mm. Uh, you can get another woman. You can get another date. Ain't you can get another Sharon girlfriend. I'm talking to? No. <laughs> Hello, hello, what did you do with her? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you dating somebody different in the next six months, but you yeah. still got your good buddy. Right. So right. I think as women, what hurts us also is the fact, who else will I let know me like this? Mm -hmm. Who else? It takes years to grow a friend, a real friend. Right, that's what you I'm know? saying. This is not no overnight thing for yeah. me. You got to know me for yeah. years. Yeah, and I ain't talking about your sister Louise. I'm talking right. a friend outside of your nuclear family right. that has been in your life by choosing and y'all know each other and you find yourself 10, 15, 25 years later mm -hmm. still close, still buddies, will, will do anything for each other. Those people, you lose one of them, you are hurting because I said we're women and we're coming from planet feel, uh, emotion. You know, so so not to belabor the part uh, the point, we've been doing some talking about that and what I find this tap topic, uh, not just about forgiveness, but this thing about not just women loving each other, but loving each other in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, we go places, of course you see the the postings on Facebook, but Rose and I we we both enjoy people. Mm -hmm. And what I like and I find a very high compliment is that, you know, uh, people have asked me why she was there or, or when she's not there, she's just like, what do you think, why do you think uh, you guys are doing so well together or what's making your relationship last? And I just say, I said, we actually like each other. We like each other. It, you know, everyone's going to say that, they, oh, I'm in love with my wife and I'm just, uh, oh, that's my little passion flower. This is, she's, you know, she's my woman, she's my wife, but she's my friend too. Mm -hmm. You know, she's my confidant. You know, sometimes she's my nurse. But anyhow, <laughs> you gonna scare? I'm gonna delete that. Okay. So sometimes she's my nurse. No, so so that's where we are with that. You know, if you have one of those scenarios uh, in your life right now, you know, ask yourself. You know, can can you live without this person? Mm -hmm. What happens if she's no or he is no longer there to to be that that friend? Right. And I think sometimes. We also realize it's so hard to get another. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but you who, don't want to settle just because it's hard to get another. Right. Well, I ain't going to kiss you behind about it. I'll no, tell no, myself no. my secrets. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep them to myself. Make sure they stay within yeah. the relationship. So, right. So I think we definitely went over. I'm just but, kidding. But, oh, but this has been, you know, I don't know, kind of heavy. I don't, it's making me think about things. Uh but this is um this has been quite a year and, yeah. and we've had so many conversations like we said but we want to keep them going and we are definitely enjoying this part of the journey yes. um we said we would do a hundred videos and see how we feel so we've done 125 i think so 
Okay, we're going to do 200 and see how we feel. <laughs> we don't know. You know, we, okay. we don't know until we know. So, we're on here as long as they're on here. So as yeah. long as y'all keep on doing what you're doing mm -hmm. and, you know, being our friend. We want to be good friends with mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? So And I like meeting people who've seen us before. That kind of, that's, yeah, that's really fun. Yeah, I love like, some of our subscribers. Like, I'm a subscriber. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's always so, wonderful. Happy holidays, everybody. Um, stay safe. Please stay um, just just enjoy the, the yeah. time that you have. And, you and know, hug on uh, your yeah. loved ones so hard. It's so much going on in this world that yeah. we have to um, just go and love on our loved ones. Just because you just never know. They walk out the house and they may not come back. Oh, it's, it's just, just too much crazy stuff. Yeah, so not to remind you. Safe. but yeah, yeah, please, please stay, stay safe. safe. We want to see everybody back in 2024. I can't even... 2023. 20, 20, 23? Yes. 23. Okay, I'm aging myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but... I, just even saying those numbers, 2023. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I remember when I was a, so much younger when they said the year 2000. I'm like, who's going to live that long? I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's 2023. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. but like we say, we, we want to see everybody back next year. We do. And thank you all so much for just hanging in there, being our loyal subscribers and yeah. our friends. I feel like we, we do uh, know you all. You kind of, I'm assuming you know us because we're here. Oh, uh, telling I, our I business think, wait, wait, every I day. I think we bear ourselves. <laughs> they know. You know. But we're going to come back this uh, in 2023, you know, hopefully a new platform with, you know, a little different. Yeah. Same, but a little different. They're going to crank so, it up a notch. <laughs> try to. I don't know why she's saying that, because she ain't doing the work. Well, I'm just kidding. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I'm just saying. No, you do a lot of the work that you do, but I do the other stuff. And there's always a lot of other stuff. Okay. okay. All right. We will we see you in all in 2023. And someone said, I can tell you the brains of the operation. And you say, the little cute one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see how she is? Okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Holiday. And we love you. We do. We do. It's so. true. So stay safe. See you next time. Stay woke. <laughs> She does do most of the work. <laughs>